Yes, guys, so exciting. We finally managed to find them. It seems like they moved from roughly where we were looking at, uh, looking for them um, a few moments ago, and they've come all the way down here. So the guys said to us earlier, and I, I apologize for being for too long on the radio. I was just trying to figure out the directions of where they had last been, where they were last seen by some of the guides in the area. So it seems like they carried on moving all around but yay so they gave us good directions and it seems like these guys didn't really move all that much further so super exciting because we've got the Yankuhuma pride over here today which i'm very happy to see because well they've been a bit elusive and i haven't had a chance to see them since i came back from leave so good to see you all i know you guys are sleeping and you're very happy but i think i'm happier than all of you in your sweet sleep <laughs> so we've got seems like one of the cubs over there then one of the adults around here and then of course that beautiful bunch of lions uh oh, somebody's sort of waking up one of the cubs have you got a bit of a an itchy paw there oh they are sleeping beautifully so from what i can count we've got one two three four four females that I can see and I can see three cubs for now I'm sure the other ones are around we just don't want to move around too much now that we found them because we don't really want to disturb them but I'm sure they're here somewhere because the grass is a bit long and if they're just leaping further behind the bushes to our left then we won't be able to see them too much from here but exciting news the Yankahumas are still here isn't that sleeping in style <laughs> I think that's a proper sleepy kitty I think it's one of my favorite things that lions do when they sleep with all four legs in their belly or they just sleep on their backs with the belly facing the sun. It's just such a happy way of sleeping, isn't it? Hmm. Nothing to worry. And they are out in the sun and despite that it is a bit warmer this afternoon, there's also a very nice cold breeze coming around. So I'm sure that's helping them just stay in the area that they're in and instead of going somewhere else where it's a bit uh, warmer. Seems like somebody's got a bit of a, I don't know if that's a bit of mud or if it's a wound that she's got down there. I think maybe it looks like a wound, doesn't it? Like another bite mark. Nothing, nothing to worry about, really. Seems like our lions are quite sleepy, so we're gonna accompany them while they sleep around, see if perhaps they do wake up in a little while. But while we do that, let's go over to Scott, who's managed to find some very playful hyena.